In our last video, we spent five days on Boca Cheetah. In this video, we're gonna tell you all about Boca Cheetah and we're gonna show you photos that have never been seen before by the public. I don't mind to slow down anymore. I don't Mark mind. Honeywell, the original owner of Honeywell Heating Products, had bought this island in 1937 and it took him two years to build all these coral buildings that we have here now. Also, in that same year, 1939, his wife Olive mysteriously fell to her death. Rumor has it he pushed her off the lighthouse. I don't know if that's true, but it remains that she died and he immediately sold the property and stopped all construction here. So Honeywell built this lighthouse so that his yacht captain could find the island easily and so that he could tell his friends where to go and how to get here. Now, I got a pop quiz question for you. Why is this lighthouse called the lighthouse that isn't? Because it's definitely there. So the second question is, why is this cannon here? Did Honeywell have security issues? Was this military property at some time? Why is the cannon here? At the end of the video, I'm going to answer both of these questions, so stay tuned. But if you think you know the answer, go ahead and comment below. So this chapel is not the one where we got married, but it is one of the few left original standing structures here at Boca Chita. I think we should get remarried. In this year? Yeah. I don't think it'll count. <laughs> it'll count. In the backyard we are going to start a garden. If that don't Hi. sound mighty good, The building you see in the back is a storage unit where they have tractors and equipment for maintaining the ground. The building that's right behind me is the restrooms. They use seawater to flush the toilet. And the structure I'm standing on now is the foundation of the original main house. I don't know why they call it the engine house. I don't know if it produced electricity, but I can tell you there's no electricity out here now. Um, now, they use this as living quarters for the rangers who will typically come out here during the winter for about six months. Uh, it has a little kitchenette, a little bed. Honeywell was known for having these elaborate parties. He was a party animal, right? So that pavilion back there was used for people to sit and eat. It was like the Boca Chita Pavilion of parties. Now on the middle southern portion of the island, there's two ponds. Honeywell built walls to section off the northeastern, the northwestern portion of the island, and that's now called the Boca Chita Key Historic District. That's the area where the marina's at and where you'll see most of these buildings. Did you guess the answers? Do you know the answers? Did you post them down in the comments below? Did you Google it? Did you? <laughs> well, here you go. The reason the lighthouse is called the lighthouse that isn't is because Honeywell built that lighthouse so that they can easily find the island. His captain and his friends that were coming out to party. One night, Honeywell lit up that lighthouse and the United States Coast Guard came out and said that because the lighthouse is not on the lighthouse charts, he can't put the light on, so it was lit up one time, one time only, and never to be lit up again. One and done. And that's why it's called the lighthouse that isn't. Now, the cannon, what is that there for? Was this military ground? Does it even really work? Is it a real cannon? Well, yes it is. See, Honey Honeywell was a party animal, kinda like us. And when all his friends got here, he would shoot off that cannon to welcome all his friends to his island and let them know that the party is started. So he needed a big cannon. Yes, he needed a big cannon to let everybody know that the party started. Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe next to me by land, by air, by sea. 
And that is how it's supposed to be Now And that much I can see Now If they don't love us We don't need them Let's find our own brand of freedom If they don't love us We don't need them Let's find our own brand of freedom Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor Anymore, anymore